Hey guys, David Jordan. Thanks for watching. So uh, I do a lot of camping. I do a lot of motorcycle riding and things like that. And I'm a coffee drinker. So uh, some very close friends of mine uh, got me this the other day as a gift. And I thought I'd show it to you. It's the Mini Presso from, uh, NS from Wakeco. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, what is it? It's, it's a Mini uh, a Manual Pump Espresso. Uh, maker <laughs> that uh, I can throw in a backpack uh, to take camping or I can throw it in the saddlebag to take on motorcycle trips and uh, so I'm excited about opening it up and taking a look at it I thought you might want to join me for that and maybe we'll make a cup of espresso and try it out and see how it works let's open it up inside the box you get the mini presso um, all put together you also get a nice little carrying bag that you can uh, carrot stored in it's got a little scent string on there uh, a couple of stickers some easy to understand um, instructions with uh, nice diagrams in in there and that's what uh, that's all that comes in the box I'm actually going to make a cup of espresso so I'll uh, show you how we do that uh, the cup itself just pops off. Remember, this isn't a regular cup of coffee. It's just a cup of espresso. And then the, uh, the outlet head unscrews and pops off. And that's where your cups will go. The, uh, the cups we're u I'm using today are uh, Private Reserve from Community Coffee. Uh, these aren't regular K-cups. They are <laughs> Nespresso-compatible cups. That's what, uh, that's what they are there. And they fit right down in there. And then when you put the, uh, the outlet head on top of there and screw it in, it will pierce that cup. So we're going to put that on there good and tight. On the other end, we're going to take it off. There's the uh, actual water reserve. And this is a cleaning brush that, um, for when you get ready to clean the system. This is the water reserve tank. So I've got a cup of water here. Just happened to have a cup of water standing by. So we're going to pour that in there. And then I'm going to take this guy. We're going to obviously we're going to make sure that we get that on there good and tight. Get my cup ready here. I'm going to uh, invert it. And I'm going to turn this and the piston will pop out and then when I start to uh, to pump it it will build up the pressure inside and then start distributing the espresso at the other end so let's do that one You're supposed to do this when you uh, pump it, uh, like pump it evenly. Don't get carried away. And uh, you see what happens when you do it. You start squirting it everywhere. And nobody likes that. You know, always tell the rookie, I guess, they try to pump too fast. Instructions say keep pumping it until it stops squirting. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, there we go. And uh, there's nothing else coming out. So there it is. Ah, wow. That's really good and easy. I'm looking forward to taking this thing out on the road with me. It'll fit right in my... Uh, backpack right in the uh, in the saddlebag on the bike and the good thing about it is that I can take it with me uh, you know get up early in the morning when I start to get a little tired or sleepy or whatever uh, almost every gas station over by the coffee machine has a uh, hot water spigot that I can use to uh, get the hot water and then make a good cup of espresso and that should give me the boost I need for uh, many hours to come so a really enjoyable thing. I'm looking forward to uh, taking it out in the field with me. I'm glad you got a chance to look at it with me. The uh, the 
the mini presso from Wakako. I hope this helps, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.